time, Turkey and Armenia will establish diplomatic relations in order to open border crossing in the near future. That's according to the foreign ministries of both countries. Uh, the news has also been confirmed by Swiss government officials who have helped mediate the long-standing conflict. Armenia and Turkey have not had diplomatic relations for over a century after the Armenian genocide during World War I. The Turkish government has continuously denied the genocide ever took place. In six weeks' time, the parliaments of both countries will be presented with diplomatic relations protocols, which they, in turn, will have to ratify. Local journalist Rashad Enver says Yerevan and Ankara should start moving jointly towards each other to break the deadlock. Uh, Turkish president's visit, last visit to Armenia, was a uh, first uh, diplomatic step forward. Uh, it's an intention to solve this problem. Turkey wants to sh wanted to show to the international community that, listen, I'm the good guy. I want to solve this problem. I'm not someone who wa who's running away from the pro from the solving this problem, because. Uh, uh, so far, uh, the international community, especially Western, Western community, had also criticized Turkey of just running away from to, uh, running away from solving any problem. So uh, the first step has been done already, but now we expect the uh, the step forward from the Armenian side. I'm the Turk, and uh, I have my own opinion uh, as a Turk, and. Uh, we should just clarify the expression uh, genocide. What is genocide? Genocide is that one if one community kills another community. But in the in the uh, in the so-called Armenian genocide, uh, people died from both sides. Both sides has been killed, and I don't uh, I don't think I. I don't think that Turkey ever will ever recognize the so-called genocide. But uh, there are obstacles that stand in the way of normalizing relations between Armenia and Turkey, says a reporter from Yerevan, Minas Kambartsuman. The so-called diplomacy, known as the recent achievement on normalizing relations between Turkey and Armenia, is being converted to diplomatic soccer as one of the opposition Armenian politicians stated recently. Actually, the problem of normalizing relations between Armenia and Turkey has two major obstacles. One is the recognition of the Armenian genocide, and the second is the issue of Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, which each of the sides imagines to be resolved from their point of view. Armenian President Serge Sarkisian informed that Turkey is not keeping the arrangement on an unconditional normalization of bilateral ties again warning that he will not accept Ankara's invitation to attend a soccer event later this year unless Turkey moves to reopen the border. This way, Serkisyan just reiterated his earlier statement on reopening the Turkish-Armenian border without preconditions. So what's happening, happening with the Armenian population? As according to not official surveys, 70% of Armenian population has no problem with opening the border. So it's, it's a more political thing than uh, maybe economic or social thing.